Welcome back, heroes, to some more Node Heart. Last episode, we got so much done. We took down the Deus. We got lots of information from Papa, who is now um, nameless because they're in the unallocated uh, vast. We got some information what we need to do next to stop the compression. We need to go around and uh, get the uh, free things that can bypass to get to Mount Nexus, which I'm assuming is going to be the scanning the objects. We've got a world compression. This is the rank S quest we got. So we've got to get free parts in order to bypass Mount Nexus guard code. And then you've got the virus that um, everyone's working on, which is great. But we also got this quest from Jack, which is scan the statues and, he, and meet at the base of Mount Nexus. So maybe that's what we have to do. And speaking of that, we actually got a statue here I need to scan. We scanned one statue. Here is the second statue. Right, so scan it for the residual data. Yes. Okay, but currently I think we need 20... Um, recruit cards to progress the main story which is going down this way but we've got a lot of things to do and annoyingly oh my goodness so now i showed you guys my like my great grinding spot well i rebooted to go and grind and then those enemies that have been spawning recently have been causing me so many problems it ruined my grinding spot and i could not grind very well but here's the team also got a lot more glyphs anyway so we got uh, obviously at Final Evolution again level 20 it can get to 31 now but you might notice this little star this came up when I hit level 25 and if I click it we change color that is so sick man love that so I'm gonna keep this on um, we then got our uh, Rapporteur level uh, 16 it can get to 24 can evolve as well with blind can now become with Seraph and we got uh, on the bench we got Devi bomb which need to re reboot one more time Again, uh, Nyan can reboot in three levels. Also, when I was doing my grinding in the desert, a random encounter that came up, I did not see it anywhere, but I found, this is the evolution of it, but I found the pre-evolution of this, which actually I should reboot to level 13 so you can see it now. But I saw this, I was thinking, I did not see you anywhere else. So I, I used all my things I could to recruit it, and we got it. So anyway... Uh, on to what we're going to be doing this episode. Uh, in the desert as well, that temple I found, because I think I spoke to the tablet first and I spoke to the guy. I think I need to speak to him again. I can actually progress through that area. So I need to go back there at some point and do that. But I'm not going to do that until I'm a little bit stronger. So anyway, that's what I found. And I caught that. Uh, what we'll do is, oh man, there's, there's so much to actually do. It's just, <laughs> it's unreal. So let's talk to you. Uh, I visit your town. It's too green. Dino Hunter loves rocks and cliffs more. Okay, good to know. Uh, I, would, I need to find... Uh, is it Sirio? Yeah, you. Oh, hey, Seek. I snooped around town and found these two working in this uh, workshop. There's a lot of abandoned stuff here, but most importantly, gear making tools I can use. <laughs> so it'll take some time before I set everything up. Uh, so come visit me later. Okie dokie, and let's talk to these two. So I found code for a gadget you might be interested in. It's a tech dex. Every tech you see or use in battle will get registered in it. And you'll be able to track how many you've yet to see. Sweet. Of course, give me just a moment. I'll prepare the executable. Sweet, let's go. More, more gadgets and upgrades. That's what we want. Could talk to you again and nothing there. So let's talk to you. Uh, hey, that's your friend, right? Sirio? He seems to know a lot about gadgets too, but he specializes in gear or what you know as Tamar upgrades. There was another desk here underneath a pile of garbage, so we let him have that one. Did a good job cleaning up though. Good, all right, so we're still developing or decrypting the inventor's archives. I have a feeling it'll take some time. Uh, yeah, I'm using the gadgets. All good, all good. Uh, what else do I want to do? I found some more TVs. I know where free TVs are, so when we, oh, is that a glyph? Yeah. When we can do the advert, then I can definitely uh, get that done real quick. Uh, so what we're going to do is we need to head, we need to find the foreman. Is it the foreman? In the mouse tunnels. So let's make our way there. So you'll see the enemy in a second. I think that, yeah, these things. I hate them so much. Oh no. Uh, I don't know the best way to beat these. Because like, what I've been doing is going earth kick to get some like armor. And then like how much damage it does. Like when you kill them. They do something and just bam, you're pretty much almost dead. <laughs> I hate it so much. Oh, they ruined my good spot, man. My spot was fantastic for grinding. I was getting so much experience. Just says the one. Okay, good. Uh, that's deadly bite ya. Right. 
I, I, I know what I want to do, but I'm trying to like, I should have uh, wrote it down. I'm trying to, in my head, think of everything I said at the end of the last episode that I'm going to do. I'm trying to keep it fresh in my mind. So I think this is the first thing we should definitely do. Uh, gotta find this guy. I hate that they're in here as well, but um, no. I wonder if you're gonna be in that room, actually. That could be a good place to check. They're spawning everywhere, man. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> I hate them. Uh, let's go check in this room here. Uh, you're not in Widget's abode. So let's leave here. So I'm thinking it's got to be in this room over here with the big TV. Maybe. Oh. Have we got every single glyph yet? No, we still like what need one more. A different symbol. But no one's here. Right. Oh, that's going to be you there with a the pitchfork. Found you. All right. Wasn't too hard. Let's make our way down. Whee. Okie dokie. Yeah, no, stay away from me. Do not want to fight. Ah, oh, just I'm I'm so mad they ruined my grinding spot because I rebooted everything before getting there and, and then I was like oh no not good but hey oh Forkman yeah hey uh, what as an emergency uh, memory meadow right right I'll head over there right away right so now you're there wait you're still here well okay fine memory meadow yes I'm going so I'll go get some cheese and then we can hop onto my bike and hey yo you're still here. All right, all right. I'm going for real now. For really realsies. Real. <laughs> Definitely going, okay? Bye. <laughs> You're not going, are you? He is so not going. I'm going to look down around here. Oh, there you are. Found you. Heck, you really are a nuisance, aren't you? Pretty as a light bulb. I will return. Trouble awaits me. Alas, there's only one forkman to go around. Hey, this better be a real emergency, kid. Or I'll be very... Ang uh, okay, let's go now. You better hold on tight. <laughs> We're whopping. Oh, hey, nice. Okay. Hey, oh. Yeah, told ya, proper emergency. Oh, whoa, that looks cool. Right, this is one heck of an emergency. In fact, I'd say it's a disaster. My fork had no effect on that glitch. Probably because I can't even get near. It keeps blowing me away. You can even say it's impressive. Right, uh, I need to get quickly healed up. And I'll see you guys back here in a second when we're fully healed. All right, we're back nice and healthy. Before we actually do anything, there's uh, two things. First of all, I found where we can fish. Getting back here, just here. So let's do some fishing. We need to get the, was it the flyope? Flyope? Oh, and 100%. Oh, it's a battle. Oh, that, whoa, that looks sick. Okay, I thought it was like a fish we're just gonna like, you know, get like an item, but uh, let's try and get this. I don't know what I need to feed you. Sure, you're a worm. 5%, nice. Uh, what else? <laughs> Not scraps. Uh, I doubt you want to eat cheese. I honestly don't know what to give you. I feel like everything likes a mushroom. Yeah, that's that's fine. Give you a few mushrooms. And one more. I, just, I might as well make it 100 percent Just to, just to guarantee it. Okay, you don't do much damage to me, which is good. And now we can definitely get it. Victory! I wonder if I've got to help on the team to uh get the side quest done. But while we're at it, let's quickly go down here. I think I must... Oh, no. No. I don't want to fight these, man. I really don't want to fight these. There's got to be a way to not die. Earth block. Earth kick. And then... Geez, that's like so much. I don't know what I need to do to just live. But if any- oh, what? Oh, thanks. Thanks for bringing me back out. Don't kill me. I just got healed up. 
Thank you so much. I hate these dark, like dark asm things. Oh, they are the worst. They are the literal worst. Just ruin my grinding, making me repeatedly go back and get healed up, instantly killing me. Just ruining my day, man. Just ruining my day. I'm just trying to get stuff done, and they're just like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, my joke was terrible. Perhaps this is the reason why I lost to you. Oh, okay. Didn't actually fight you, but. Oh, you can actually fish there as well. Sweet. Uh. Yeah, I, feel like I was supposed to fight the dude, but then the the thing kind of got in my way, but uh... Okay, I gotta have it on me. Can we do it here? That's the uh, the bank one. So, uh, golly gee, that's three of my Ella cows, but where is the last one? Uh, th that must be it. Oh, here, I'll give you this uh, gizmo partner. It's a transport core that will enable you to interface with them dive terminals. Don't know what those are? Well, how do I put it now? Oh, uh, ever see a suspicious hole in the ground? Sort of metallic, yeah, looking. That's a dive terminal. Connects to a fast travel network of sorts, and uh, I know there's one terminal here that leads to a secluded little area. My last Elecal must have gone there. Oh, you go, look for it. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done this without you, partner. Okay, so where, where's the thing? Uh, there, it's gotta be this one. So a secluded area. Could be here. No, this takes us here. So we go down this way. I don't know if that would be exact. I feel like it takes me to like a completely different area. So I probably want to stay. Oh, that's blocked off. Probably means we haven't unlocked it yet. It's rain in here, so that makes me think maybe Rain City? Pretty cool forest. So let's go this one. So I've got rid of that glitch before, but. Uh. Maybe it is that teleport a bit then. Where does this take us? It's kind of interesting to just see where these take. Oh, the main hall. Once you get used to like where these take you and everything, it's got. Oh man, fast travel is just so much better than a uh, quill. No offense, quill. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's go through here. Oh, we can break that. So this takes us to. Oh, okay, we are so far back. Actually, actually, while I'm here, because I don't know where a healing uh, bit is in the meadow. So let's go and get healed up. I think at some point, when I feel a bit stronger, I have to go back into the net, and I've just got to go through, like, every single one of the network just to see where it takes us, where we ca uh, can and can't go. I'll just be... Yeah, hopefully discover some cool things. So let's go back, because I'm going to get the Elecal later on. I just need to try and remember which way we came from, which would have been this one. Yeah, fantastic. All right. So let's go and actually... Oh, I should have... Oh, I didn't fight you. I should have grabbed the... The fish while we were at the village. But I'm going to write that down, so let me hang on. Uh, fish quest. So I can just remember. Got to start doing that. Just writing things down so I can remember what I need to do and where to go. Alright. Sucks being a little bit weaker than we were last episode, but I know we're going to be very strong soon. So let's... How do I get a rack around? Oh, no, I can do it here. It's actually kind of lucky I just saw that. Deadly bite. Actually, I also might keep the fish on the team. It actually looked really cool. I just hope we don't give it away. He just wanted to see it. So I'm going to... Oh, man. I kind of want to keep the Debbie bomb, but let's withdraw that. Let's go back. 
Uh, so the fish man is just over here. I think it's got to be on the active slot, hasn't it? So, uh, did you manage to catch a fish? I did. You, you really caught one. I'll keep trying then. Got the wind flute. Tends to reward. Uh, my CPU is finally at ease. Thank you. What does the wind flute do? Increases wind attack by 15%. Not bad. Now let's check this out. It's got an evolution. It hasn't, but it does look really cool, man. Uh, move you onto here. Right, now let's finally go and do the thing we're going to do. The thing I love about this game is like you get distra distracted and... Oh, oh, I thought these were his uh, uh, elephants, but it's just some wild ones. They are pretty cute. If you want to join me, I will definitely take you. No, go away. For a split second, I got happy. I didn't think you were going to spawn. Go away. So it's this way, I think we want to go. And up here, yeah. I wonder if we'll get a... Um, another reboot thing for this. Is that, is that the glitch? So, oh, let's get the chest. Life chip. Which, that'll be a level up. So I'm going to do that on... I'm going to hold on to that actually for a second. Grab this. And let's fight you. Another seg fault. Vortex. Oh, snap. This is going to be tough because you are not weak to what I've got. So maybe we can still do some damage with Bash. All right. Oh, Metal Claw is super effective. Oh, I should have brought that higher. Okay. Uh, bash. Let's get rid of that. Armor first. Let's go Metal Claw. It costs a lot just because it's further down. Just in case you don't remember, the further the move down is, the more um, usage it costs, which is uh, not good for us right now because Metal Claw is obviously going to be the best. Let's go Deadly Bite. Get that poison. It's fine if I die. Always blind. You've got this. Can finish it off with Candle Flame. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hey, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, considering how weak we were. Nice. And go spot. I've got to change the moves around soon as well. And you're evolving again. Good, good. If I can find a, a new grinding spot, oh, I'll be very happy with that. <laughs> but I love this dude with the axe. Ah, oh, so sweet. Hey, defeat Vortex. De uh, defeat the uh, seg faulted Vortex. Woo-wee, you really saved our tails this time, kid. Yeah, thanks. Forkman was kind of useless. So you had to run around to get him. <laughs> it's all right. All right, uh, take this as a sign of our gratitude. We use it as a CPU tweaking tool, but I heard it can also be used to upgrade a Tama. Accelerator. Don't have room, so I'll send it to your bank instead. Oh, thanks. So thanks again, pal. Feel, feel, uh, feel free to stick around. Oh yeah, definitely want to stick around because I need to grab this. Nice. So we can now reboot again. Which is... Yeah. Probably not going to do for a while. But... Uh, oh, we can get super strong. And so that means uh, just important stuff, okay? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Let's talk to the Forkman. So kid, thanks for saving the situation. Listen, it wasn't my fault. My fork was useless against that thing. I mean, it's, it's not your fault. I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to even deal with that, honestly. So I, I don't blame you. I do not blame you. So next up, uh, I want to just check. I don't think we can, but what about if we can break this glitch just now? Oh, the doors are open. Ooh, okay. So we can go in here now. Oh, yes. Okay. So what I am going to do is I 
need to desperately do some more grinding. Just because, yeah, it was tough. But what else? I wonder if anything else has been unlocked. Like the, the big temple in the desert. I wonder if that's now been all unlocked for us. So we got to just look around. Uh, find the last Elekel. So use the dark tunnel to access far travel and secret areas. We'll do that soon. But let me go do some grinding. I'll see you guys uh, back here when we are pretty strong. Okay, we're back and we have uh, leveled up quite a bit. I'm not going to reboot again just yet. Obviously, these I want to get these max, but when they hit 24, I don't think I'm going to reboot right away. But they look so cool. And Seraph looks so badass, man. But I think I'm going to reboot these as much as I can. Just because they're benched and they can still get the experience. And I forgot we can't do the uh, arena just yet because we still need to do the ad. So, what we'll do next is we are going to go to the toy castle, I think. It's probably the best thing to do. So, let me just fly over. So, if we go... I'm trying the fastest way. The fastest way is probably actually going from Protocol Forest. I still want to re-explore this place because I feel like I've missed something here. But we'll come back soon. Let me double, talk, double check and talk to you. Can't let you inside. Sorry, only us or Waz are allowed in. If I can find a way in. But this TV looks very sus as well. Let's just go up and go to the Toy Castle. I'm so excited, man. Toy Castle's going to be great. So the fastest way is if we go this way, there should be that big portal we can go through. I think. Uh, is this the way back out? Yeah, so. It's back this way. Where is this portal? Was it above here? I think it was just to the left and above, actually. Or to the right. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to figure out where this is. Portals here. There you go. Oh, let's just quickly fight you. All right. Uh, deadly bite. And deadly bite. There you go. And one more to finish you off. Fantastic. Only a little bit of experience, but it's fine. So let's go for. I'm so excited for this place. Gonna save it just in case something bad happens. Now let's go in. So, Castle Hall. Uh, okay. Oh. Guess we need keys. Meow. Ah. Gonna turn up a little bit. It's a bit quiet, but I see that something wicked is approaching. Welcome to the Castle of Toys. Haha. <laughs> Have you been told the rules? Uh, in this realm, you must abide by these laws. You have three hearts to your disposal. Whenever you, your battle creatures meet its demise, you'll lose one heart. Lose all three, and you will perish as well. Oh no. A key you're looking for. Ah, but such things are forbidden. <laughs> for that, you have to bargain with the Queen of Hearts. The only thing I can tell you and keep my head is, uh, go through the green door, and when you see a white rabbit, follow him. <laughs> okay. We can't go through without a key. Oh no, we can now. <laughs> all right. 1-1 one, one Flower World. Okay. Uh, hi. Hey, whatever you do, uh, don't go to the left. Oh, BB looks so cute! Oh, it's level 24. Oh, okay. A little bit stronger than I was expecting around here, but that's fine. Got metal claws. At least the experience should be good. Oh, you get a lot. Okay, I think it's probably best bringing with Seraph. I think that would be the best. Let's go you. And yeah, this is super effective. That's much better. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I think I've probably got some potential points to spend as well, but I'm warning you, don't go to the left. I feel like I should... Go to the left. Is that glip here? Okay, uh see that weird hole over there? Wanna well, know what happens if you fall into it? I do actually. I 
again, I think it's... We should just lead up with a surf round here. Because I think we can just... Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, this bad boy. We haven't seen you since uh, we went to the mansion. That was a while ago. Uh, gonna go evil flame. Then Inferno. Go on, finish it off. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is good. This is good. Yeah, we lead off with Seraph. And use some potential points. So you fall into that hole, you just dip into the void and you dissolve into bits. So whatever you do, don't fall down. Okay, so I'm going to take your word for that because that sounds kind of bad. I don't really want to test it out. Uh, going to do a little bit of HP. Going to get this 20. And I ain't got enough for that. Kind of want to do... Yeah. Alright. And now I don't mind fighting you guys. What's up? So you can't, you can't, you can't. Can't what? Can't what? What? Can't keep getting away with this? Let's go with Seraph. Evil Flame. And one more. Nice. And then we'll go for Inferno. Oh, that damage is so good. I need to push Inferno up. Actually. I need to move uh, with Seraph's moves around. I have to do it after this battle. I need to stop forgetting. Oh, no. We lost a life. That's not good. That is really not good. I hope we can get some lives back. That would be nice. Alright, before I forget, let's change his moves. Challenge our boss, Clara? Maybe you can. Uh, let's see. So. I want to bring Inferno up. Definitely go burn down. Get rid of Breeze. Dark Inferno sounds awesome. That's fine there. Go Spark and then... Anything else that's magical? I guess that's Mix, go for that. Please have something to like revive. Ooh, nice. And then we gotta heal up. Let's use all them, why not? And there's a hundred. Just gonna eat some food. And some cheese! <laughs> so this Clara up here. Uh uh Car oh oh dear, which way? Which way? Oh! I should have brought a compass. Oh dear. So follow the white. Rabbit, is that you? I do kind of want to fight everyone though for the experience. Oh, can't go that way. Did you go in here? Or did you go up? Don't know where you went, but... Oh, hello. You a new friend? My name is Clara. Oh, the white rabbit? Oh, silly. You mean uh, Carrot? He's probably on his way to the party. Huh, you want to go there as well? Then you'll need talismans to ride the clock elevator. I'd really, really love to give you mine, but rule state you have to win it in a tunnel battle. So, show me what you got. Okay. Hopefully I can do this. Uh, we'll go... Mm, burn down. Go... And I think I can just go burn down to finish you off maybe? Nice. This looks awesome. Uh, I don't know, you're weak too, but I'm gonna switch. Because I cannot risk dying. Basher? Did zero? Kinda actually really like that. Oh, what? Oh my god. Okay, you are definitely scary. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just poisoning you at the moment. How do I do damage to you? This is, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Crystal Blast? Nope, okay. At least Poison's doing something. And you're gonna get HP back as well, great. How? 
What do I do? I, I legit have no idea how I'm supposed to kill you. Uh, maybe... Didn't I? Oh, I don't know if I boxed it. Oh, this has got extremely difficult. I might have boxed it. I had something that I think can stop healing. Uh, let's go for a flame. I don't know. I don't want to do against this. This thing is just not dying. Pass. Okay. The only thing I can think of is if I just keep trying to poison you? Dodge, great. Oh. I keep dodging, I see. Can I just keep dodging? What what do I do? I just, I'm just gonna lose. Is the life gone? I just keep dodging now. I think I just gotta come back here later on. This is way too tough. Like, I don't know how to kill you, but it's not just even just this. It's just like the enemies in general. Maybe when we get to like our minimum is 25. I'm just gonna tell you, I can't, I can't beat this. So, you'll take me out. I've got, to, I've got to figure a way to do this because that is not easy. Okay then, so what we'll do is we will go back there later on. Clearly the, the toy castle is not the place to go just yet. So in that case, I will go... Uh, world map. So is there still a place I want to check? What time of day is it? It's, it's night time. We could maybe see if we can go to the snowy, snowy place. The train's open. So that's the castle. We can't we can't do this yet. I don't think. So we got Mount Nexus, which I think is end game content most most likely looks like. We've got Protocol Forest, which uh, I feel like I'm missing something in there. Uh, memory Lake, we can. I don't think unless we can swim. Circuit Shore, I think I'm missing a little bit of that. I know we need 20 to go over here to Circuit Shore, but yeah, let's go to the Scorching Sands. I think there's probably something we can do over here. We can at least do that one bit we missed in the temple, and then maybe go to the open up the other temple. Have to wait and see. The toy block is the... Yeah, it's just, it's just too tough right now. Way too tough. Especially because you have to, like, you know, you have the free lives. That's not easy. Yeah, I can't go down there. I'm guessing that will open once we get 20 recruits, because that might lead towards the circuit shore area that we you can unlock from, um, from the dump. Now I just gotta try and remember how to get to that first temple. Was it just to the right? I believe it was just to the right. So if we just follow this path. Oh, random encounters, what we got? Zappy! Oh, I definitely wanna lead off with I'll start around here just because uh, they're weak to, weak to earth. Makes life a little bit easier. Wait, are you max level now? 17. Oh, yours. Okay, let's reboot you. Uh, reboot. Yes. All right. Our bench team is going to be getting stacked. So when we're ready to reboot our main team, like our active... Hopefully all three of these can be used at once because that'd be super strong. 
I'll wait till your level uh, thing. Oh, you can be rebooted as well. Again, we got many reboots to do. But it's gonna be good when, like, I can't wait to use this, because this just, obviously, we battled the cat before and it was really annoying, so just kept living and healing. And hopefully we can do that. Right, uh, there's the temple, yeah. So we want to go in here. So apparently I just had to talk to the guy again, and we should be good. So, oh, let's go around and talk to you. And we know I can just take everything out around here. So I wonder if there'd be another, like, Segfault enemy in here. I can imagine I can try and reboot again. <laughs> oh, I don't want to make things... Uh, if, if I get, like, rebooted again and I get the levels up, it'll make it too easy. But right now, just, just trying to grow the levels is actually pretty difficult. So you saw something strange on a wall. Some sort of inscription. That must be it. That's the key to opening this gate. Let's inspect it at once. Okay. So that was over here. Deadly bite. Yeah, I think I'm just going to fight all the random enemies around here. Because obviously, don't run out of PP anything like that so we can just do these for days so, I mean a little bit of experience every little helps all right let's go talk to you it's a marvelous find um my apologies I don't even ask for your name ah seek is it excellent now seek I believe this is the Hatu Ad Navar the wall of riddles there's a depiction of the old ziggurat and the infamous cubic uh, edifice that the ancestors worshipped Two spirals form the two sides, converging at the uh, centerfold. Aha, I think I've got it. Oh, good job. Eureka! However, I'm not sure why this wall in particular opened. Uh, these were supposed to be instructions for opening the ceiling gate. Perhaps the real challenge awaits ahead. Ooh, let's go. Yo, you look sick! Strangers, I am Anurop, the guardian of Yudduff. I do not sense any hostility from you, but still. I'm obliged to test you. Do you wish to challenge me? Absolutely. Oh, you look so sick. I'm assuming I can't catch you. I'm gonna assume. But I do want to get you. I wonder if you're the evolution of rot. Because you can get rots in here, right? And if I find one, I'm gonna get one. And if you are the evolution of rot, oh yeah, you are definitely going on the team. <laughs> Change the team up again. Can't make my mind up. Uh, we'll go for a bash, bash, and then Crystal Blast. Nice. That poison's actually really cool. And we'll go bash, earth kick, earth kick, and then we win. Awesome. <laughs> so how long has it been? My memory fails me. You're the first to pass the Guardian test in decades. I will listen to your wish. So we wish to see the altar room. The altar room? Yes, the one behind the ceiling gate. That is uh, dot hatch, the room of rev uh, reverence. So why do you wish to see it? Well, the reason is, simply put, the pursuit of knowledge and lore. The ancestors are a fascinating subject. Being at the uh, forefront of uh, archaeological studies and not knowing much about them is almost insulting. Your intentions seem to be without malice. I will let you proceed. Oh, thank you, Lord Guardian. Just Guardian is fine. Nice. Can you join my team? <laughs> he looks so cool. Oh, I should probably save the game as well. Oh, right, there you go. Uh, support, I am gonna go... Everyone loves a cheeseburger, man. How do you not like a cheeseburger? Come on. <laughs> uh, what would you like? Don't think I really have much to give... Bone? You're a dog and you're a... Yeah, there you go. Loves bones. Awesome. Have another bone. And I'm going to kill you. And you're going to join my... You are going to join my team. No ifs or buts. You are going to join it. There you go. Absolutely. Alright, save the game. Now, uh... Who do I replace? <laughs> I think I'm replacing my rainbow fish. Ooh. Ah, Seek, look, the altar room is indeed here. I've analysed the inscriptions here and cross-referenced them with my glyph database and... Well, the result is a little short of groundbreaking. The ancestors had a central deity that they worshipped. 
However, this deity was not uh, personified as a living organic thing. Instead, it was a cube that represented all that is beyond mind's reach. The ancestors were an advanced uh, spacefaring race. According to this, they have discovered all conceivable knowledge in existence. All mathematical proofs, laws of physics, biology, even the inner workings of the universe were supposedly all known to them. But despite their seemingly infinite prowess, many things still escaped their grasp. And instead of pursuing this unknown matter further, they decided to declare it unfathomable and forbidden. Indeed, they collectively refer to all of the knowledge that escaped their vast intellects as God. In Savara, their mother tongue, Havar, meant perfect shape or cube. And there's a reference to... Uh... Q? K? I don't know how you want to say that here. Which translates to God, combining those two. We arrive at their original name for the cube that they worshipped. Kvar. Incredible. Now I'm interested in this uh, next bit. Before their death, the ancestors preferred, uh, prepared a manual in the form of a computer program. Once deciphered, the program would then auto-translate the manual to the language of the host. In this manual, it seems they left behind instructions on how to construct a set of sorts. So dot adareth. Its literal meaning would be the set of all, but I'm not sure what it actually means. Perhaps it was a computer network of sorts? Aha, I've got it! This dot adaref is referenced here. Oh yes, this was one of the missing pieces. The ancestors that lived as a hive mind, but they still retained their individual thoughts since they achieved a perfection of sorts. They believed their role as a species would be to help others reach the same sort of enlightenment. But this is what's confusing me, Seek. This doesn't make sense. If the first colonists on this planet found this manual and followed it, why aren't we all living as the ancestors did, as a connected hive mind? They must have followed it in order to build the layers at the very least. But perhaps the majority was against the idea of a hive mind. I suppose not everyone would have been on board with it, yes. So this leaves me with more questions than answers. <laughs> but I shan't give up, Seek. The next obvious place to look for clues would be the Hornet's Nest in Rain City. It would be difficult to conduct research with all the security there, but I'll find a way. So if you ever find yourself there, look for a place called the Blank Drive. The bartender mechanica there will be able to tell you how to find me. Well, it was nice meeting you, Seek, and let's meet again soon, shall we? Okay. Very interesting. So if we, can we find a way back into Rain City um, through the through the net, maybe? Might give that a little look. But with how tough some of these parts are becoming now, I'm thinking the best course of action for me is to probably grind. Was there another way to go to the east I didn't check out? Or am I... Oh no, I did check out the east. It was the, um... That spiky thing. But I'm thinking... Do I have to inflict spikes on it? Or can I give it spikes? Because I've got some spikes in my memory. Here, I've got five. Give spikes when used in battle. So I don't know if I want to use it or if I want to just... Gift it. Oh, chest. Ah, oh, it's a trap. But I could easily just um, get some more spikes. I'm assuming I get them from defeating the cactuses or cacti around here. But I've got some decisions to make. It's just uh, a lot to do. And I'm not sure which is the right, <laughs> right thing to do. At least we're destroying you enough. Kick. Nice. Oh, we're serving almost level 22. Spiky core. Cool. cool, cool, cool. So can we go in here now? Oh, the door's unlocked. Right, so let's go and check this out. Is it too difficult for us to go in? The Sun Gear Stronghold. How tough are you? Oh, Holt. This is the Sun Gear uh, Dominion. Uh, who allowed you to enter? Uh, it was unlocked. I mean, level 20, so... Maybe this is doable? Not too tough. I need to switch the metal claws around because there's more of these dudes in here. Then, uh, yeah, this will be for the best. Oh, you got one HP. <laughs> nice. And, oh, you got a lot of HP. It's fine, we can eat these up. And it, no lives as well, so we don't have to worry about just dying. 
Uh, are you weak to fire, maybe? You are. Let's go. <laughs> With Seraph. Burn it down. Let's go. Give me them levels. So I think this might be the place we want to go check out next. So fine, look around. But if you cause any trouble, we'll throw you into the dungeons. Dungeons does sound pretty cool. And... Oh, so here's the dungeons. This is what we'll get thrown into. Oh. Oh, no, you are going to fight me. I thought for a second I can just walk around and not get into trouble here. Uh, this is a good place to yeah, definitely do a little bit of grinding and exploring. So I think what we can do then is if we... If we can go through here, this is definitely what we'll do now. Then after that, I think... If the level, if we get like a few more levels going through here, maybe Toy Castle next episode. But I've got to find a way to um, beat that Lego, Lego turtle. Cause oh, the only thing I can think of was just poison it. There's got to be something I can do. Oh, and you're evolving as well. Oh, I need to get rot out. I think there was a um, box right next to me though. If there was, then Rot's going on the team. Yeah, here, sweet. Uh, and then withdraw. Yeah, it does go into it. Oh yeah, we are so getting one. Rot is so adorable. So, so adorable. Your max level is 13, so we've got to just... Uh, yeah, reboot you a couple of times. I'm gonna assume if, you know, you can get caught upstairs or something and then you can just end up getting thrown in the dungeon like they said and then you've got to uh, just avoid these sentries every single time you get caught. Something like that. It's making me think of, uh, was it, uh, Live Alive? When you get caught into the dungeon, you just gotta escape and it's, oh, that was annoying. These, these guys are easy to beat. Okay, before I forget, I'm going to switch Deadly Bite and Metal Claws round. I think that's going to be for the best. And then... Yeah, I should have gone for Bash, actually, just to do a little bit more damage. Alright, Bash, I should finish you off. So let's switch them around, just because Metal Claws is super effective against these guys. Makes life easier. Alright, party. Uh, tech, switch you with you. Doesn't cost as much. We've had the way, buddy. We've had the way, buddy. Okay, I was actually in his way. <laughs> Alright, uh, are you gonna turn? I'll just fight you. I don't mind. Can't go wrong with the experience. It's kind of tanky you are. Uh, let's bash again. Earth kick. Got on poison. Nice. Got a sand shield. That's fine, that's fine. Are you going to poison me as well? Ouch. This earth kick. Bash. Any more? He got another one. Alright, crystal blast it is. That's not too bad. Just love like we, every time we use like the Earth move, we get shield. Oh man, I love our starter. Oh, that looked cool. Bullet barrage, crystal blast, and I think two more should take you out. One more, go on, finish it off. Don't have a third one. Hey, experience is not bad. Yeah, this is definitely the place we want to be next. So what might be good if I can remember, I think if, when I get to the final episode and we finish the game off, I'm going to try and like, go through the, my previous videos and see which is the best order to play this game. It's like a little guy, it'd be easier, but oh, I'm not a prisoner. Just like it here because it's uh, cold, the desert surface, it's far too hot for my motors. Fair enough. To be fair, I'd probably be really chilling here, won't it? 
All right. Get healed up. Fantastic. And we got a chest. Phoenix Drive. Oh, that's good. Hey, yo. Can fight you and get healed up again. Uh, we better. So oh, nope. Never mind. It's, uh, do this first. That's fine. That's fine. You ain't nothing. We're finally getting. I feel. I, anyway, I feel like in this area, we're finally getting back to how we were last episode where I felt super OP. <laughs> Oh, it's just nice. Look at all that two times. Oh, you love to see it. Alright, burn down. And burn down. And evil flame. Nice. I wonder if we're going to leave off with Seraph around here. No, I don't know. It's one of the things where, like, it could be good or also it might not really matter. Alright, bash, bash, bash. And, oh, I got this dude again. Are you weak to fire? Oh, you are. Just go for this then. And I'm going to Dark Inferno. That sounds so powerful. Oh, <laughs> that damage was good. That damage was really good. So I'm not sure if they were weak to fire. Then I was thinking about it. I was like, actually, I think you are. Right. Let's go back up. Oh, hey, oh. Oh, hello. Got a Rapitar. Bash, bash, Earth Kick, bash, Metal Claw, Crystal Blast. Go on, finish it off. Nice. And then you've got the Barraptor with the cannon on its back. I don't think you're weak to fire. So it's pretty okay to stay in. I think we'll take you out very soon. The amount of like moves we get to use as well is just oh putting that speed and wisdom up. So good. <laughs> Although I'm gonna switch now because just I haven't really got many moves to use and I'll get hit with recoil. Oh you are weak to fire. Oh my bad. My bad. I didn't think you were weak. I thought you were a completely different type. <laughs> my bad. My bad. I'm just gonna beat off with Seraph then around here. Clearly where Seraph is just strong as everything. I feel like Pokemon Empyrean again. Was Seraph just was Seraph just too good? Alright, so what do we got? Oh, is this a dead end? Can't go in there. Looks like I could. I guess it makes sense, because shouldn't they like the king of metal be in here? But uh, hey, we're made of sand sand. We don't want to fight you. Uh, we don't even have Tama. But the big guys, they'll attack you if they see you, so be careful. Big guys, eh? Point me in their direction. Oh, I'm down for some fights. Wait, let me double check, make sure everyone's like 26, 19. Oh, you need to be uh, rebooted. Because you don't really get to see them level up as much because they're on the bench, unless you just look at them. I just forget if they're ready to be rebooted. All right, level one. Okie dokie. Uh, yo, so Holt, you're the one of the prisoners, aren't you? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I don't know. No, I'm not. I'm not a prisoner. Uh, I need to switch. I know you're definitely weak to earth. Oh, it's because it's a ambush. It's fine. You don't do nothing. No, oh, I didn't mean to pass. I didn't mean to pass. I did not mean to pass. I mean, it's fine because you're not going to do anything to me, so it's all good. Earth kick. Oh, you're actually taking them hits pretty well, dude. Mad respect. Did not think you'd uh, eat that up that well. Go on, finish it off. Ooh, 123 there. The metal claws. I'm glad I've got metal claws up. Sweet. Oh, this XP just fantastic. So my mistake, you're not a prisoner. But if you cause any cause us any trouble, you'll become one. Ooh. As long as you feed me well, don't mind me in a prison down here. Uh, oh, yeah, we definitely want to... Ah, dude. Here's, I guess, an ambush, isn't it? On the trap. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me. Ouch. Of course, look how many points we've got to use. Alright. Deadly Bite's super effective. I've got, I've got 
Yeah, points to spare. <laughs> uh, let's go half kick, half kick, bash. Nice. I'm not sure if there's going to be a second one there. I was trying to save a few points just in case. Life chip. Not bad. Spawn here is actually kind of fun. Yo! So there's a healing machine on the second floor. The elevator can take you there, but only if you defeat Snack. Snack, eh? Sneaky Snack? Oh, save point. Oh, Holt, where do you think you're going? To find Snack. Can you point me in the right direction, please, sir? Oh. Keep trying to, like, just destroy everyone too quick. And it's like, wait, no, it's an ambush. You just need to, uh... Oh, we are actually getting a little bit weak. It's fine, it's fine. Uh... Burn down. Do you have a third one? You do. Ooh, we are definitely switching then. And I'll just bash and bash. The next turn we'll go for the deadly bite. Right, deadly bite. And one more to finish you off. Oh, what HP, dude, you got lucky. I mean, you would have died, died anyway because the poison, but man, it's impressive. And all these cool moves. I actually need to change the move set on our uh, Sasa, Sorcel, Sorcel, Sasa, Sasa. <laughs> I don't know if you want to say it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's where we started down there. Ultra recovery. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, hi. So we knew a friend of Sankin. Oh, you haven't even met the king? He's waiting on the fourth floor. He is. Okay, there's a fourth floor to go down, but... Where am I going? Oh, I can go down here. Okay. Oh, what's that? But, uh, hey, have you met Snek yet? They're usually here, but they're not here right now. And they're really cool. We play uh, Senate often. It's so fun. Nice, this guy seems like a cool dude. I don't know what this is, but... Life chip, hey! You definitely want to fight. Oh, do you have permission to be here? Um... Technically, yeah, I guess. The, the, the guy at the start, when I beat him, he was like, I can just go around, so... As long as I don't cause trouble. And if anything, you're causing me trouble. So... Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go bash, bash, and then deadly bite. Poison, finish him off. Hey, let's go! I put that poison on the attacks is just... I feel like I'm so broken. But if you require audience with our king, he's on the top floor. But be warned, he won't tolerate mundane requests. That's absolutely fine. Wouldn't have it any other way. Doesn't seem to accept an input at the moment. Okay. Uh, what do I do then? must have missed something. So I came through that door, didn't I? So let's save the game. Oh. Did I come this way? No, this is the start, yeah. So dungeon's down below. Did I not come from... Yeah, it must have come from this way. There's a healing machine, yeah, because I did that. So it's got to be something to do this way. What have I missed? There's got to be something. Oh! Did I not come through here? I felt like I came through here. Oh, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Uh, it's got crystal blast. Go on, one shot, yeah. Good damage, though. Good damage. So it just feels good to be OP again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think from the look of things, by the time we finish this area for next episode, if I do a little bit of grinding as well, we should be okay to go back through the toy castle. Which, like, Alice in Wonderland stuff, to like, toy castle, just... That sort of stuff just seems so interesting to go through. 
All right. Uh, oh, maybe I didn't go down this way. Okay. I must have just gone up. In that case, let's just go around, fight everyone for the experience, and then um, for the exploration as well. A deadly bite. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, Seraph, can you finish this off? Enough hits. Dark Inferno. Oh, 420. Oh, you got a little rot. So adorable, man. So adorable. You ain't gonna do nothing to me, are you? Oh, bless your little heart. Let's just take some candles. Burn down. Nice. Let's shut the levels as well on the bench, just in case someone's now ready. Oh, has Wissarif hit the level cap? Oh, okay. Uh, so you're 26, you're 19. You've hit it already? You are hitting it fast, boy. Soon we'll be able to uh, evolve. Actually, maybe I can use the life chip on you. If you don't hit 20 now. So it's 19, yes. Yeah. So if I use one of these, so we got three. So you can now evolve. Oh, it's got an active bench. Okay, let me just use two on this. And then we go put this over here. Then we go use this onto you. Now you can get to 20 and evolve. Well, I'm gonna reboot you anyway, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. We've got a door here. So before we go down there, this elevator isn't working, is it? Do you wanna fight? Hey, the king is a nice guy, really nice. He made us uh, from sand and we just float around and he's fine with that. Completely fine. Fair. Oh, I guess we just go through the door now. Didn't realize I beat everyone. Through the door we go. Wait. Oh, okay, good. I got stuck a little bit. Stronghold second floor. We definitely save it. Uh, hi, lads. Oh, you have horns. Wish I had horns. Can you give me your horns if I give you this? Uh, oh, you can't. That's okay. I'll keep on wishing though. <laughs> so Snake wants to play a game with you? A game. They might look scary, but once you get to know them, they're nice, super nice. Really looking forward to meeting the Snake. Sounds like a stand-up guy, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna get wrecked, son. And burn down. And oh I'm going Dark Inferno. <laughs> nice. Uh, actually, it might be a good idea to... It's a bit risky. I'm going to reboot you. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Because I'm not really using you around here, so you could just get all the experience. So this would be like our highest reboot. At four, because you're free, you're free. Uh, two, two, two. And we'll reboot them once they... This actually can get quite a high level. If it's only... Like, get level 26 at a second reboot. So it could probably become at the fourth reboot. When everyone's fourth reboot. My highest level? There's a good chance. Uh, Yo. So Holt. We know who, uh, where you're going. But I'll be the one to stop you here. Why? I thought it was okay to just go around, man. Make up your mind. And then burn down. Oh, you're just gonna live. Respect, rot. Respect. Oh, dark inferno. <laughs> oh, look at them levels. It's just nice to see that bar go ding, ding, ding. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, baby. 13 levels. Nice. All right, so it should evolve. So it was level 10, and then it's... uh. Yeah, level 20. If the weight is low, then it goes into the repertoire. If the weight is high, it goes into um, the, the other one. The one with the cannon. Alright, so even though, I can't, even though I can't stop you, the elite guards will. You can't win this war. I'm not trying to start a war, dude. Do you want to fight? You do. Let me get healed up there. Oh, you got our starter. Uh, this is what you're turning into, buddy. Kick. And 
deadly bite. That's not too bad. Poison doing a bit of work. Can you break my armor? No, you cannot. <laughs> oh, you can block all you like. You're only delaying the inevitable. Bam. And Crystal Blast finish you off. Sweet. Oh. Got a flare, flurry? Flello? Flello. I don't know, but this is super effective, so we'll just go Crystal Blast. And then third one. We'll finish you off, I think. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Oh, dude, if this thing evolves, I kind of really want one. Just, I really like the look of this, man. Right, deadly bite. And I think you might... I don't think you're weak. Are you? No, 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 no. That was a bad call. But I can still do a little bit of damage, at least. And then Dark Inferno might be able to finish you off. Yeah. Nice, that experience was good. Got so many more stat points to use, but just holding on to them. Uh, so 17, 17, 15. So when that evolves, we need to reboot it again. Party healed. Are we going? Wait, where are we going? Oh, this way. Definitely this way. Oh. Hello. So you're the one causing havoc. No, you're trying to reach the Sungir throne. But that won't be possible. We'll play a single round of Tamas Senet. It's an abridged version, so it won't take too long. Each of us will have three Tama in play. We'll take turns to roll dice. The number you roll will decide how many tiles you'll jump across. If there's an enemy Tama in front of yours, you'll be able to double the number you get on the die. And now for the most important part. If your Tama jumps across any Tama of mine, they have to fight. If you lose, you go back to the start. Simple as to me. And if you win, you get an extra turn. Rolling one of the die will also grant you one extra turn. Remember that. Once you reach the, reach the midpoint uh, tile, your Tama is defeated. Wait, once you reach the midpoint tile, your Tama, it, oh, if defeated, will return to that tile instead. And the player whose Tama gets to the end of the board first wins. Finally, this is a rare occurrence, but if any player knocks out three enemy Tama at once, they instantly win. Cool. Of course, if you lose this game, you'll be thrown into the dungeons. And if you win, well, that won't happen. I promise. Okay, I like how this game has um, different little battle games you can play. But uh, your team... Oh my god, that one at the end looks kind of terrifying. Okay. Uh, go block first. I'm not too worried about doing this. I think we're definitely ready just to sweep you with Kobolith. Uh We'll go bash, 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 earth kick, earth kick, earth kick. Easy. Oh, taking it all free. I thought it was a 1v1 at first. My bad. Uh, this is okay. Don't. I probably should switch for all the. Yeah. Oh, I can't switch. Come on, one more. Nice. And then your third dude. Quash div. Uh. I've kicked you. It's not too bad. As long as we live this, everything's fine. Crystal blast. Big damage, please. 54. Ooh, yeah, two more. And we win. Nice, got a critical hit there. <laughs> so if I defeat all three, then I, I win, right? Yeah. D <laughs> this can't be. You forced my hand. If you dare intrude upon the, the throne, I'll crush you with my full force. He's like, yeah, it never happens. And I just did it. Okay. Uh. Oh, of course it's a trap. I just want a little bit of loot. Just a little bit of loot. How dare you. I can't switch. Got to pass. Then we switch after. I wonder if I got fully healed off that fight. I did not. 
But it's fine. We are definitely winning this. Like so. <laughs> Wait, oh, I've always survived for a level. Gonna have so many potential points to use soon. HP chips, sweet. Uh, yo. So Snake ran up the stairs, it was all a blur. But it looked to me like they were angry. Yeah, just a little bit. I'd be too if I got wrecked. So we can now take the elevator. Ooh. Uh, second floor right that has the... I have to run back. Right, let me go get healed up. I'll see you guys back here in a second. All right, for the love of me, I cannot find the healing place. I don't know where it was. I kept finding save points. I thought, you know what, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe we'll find another healing point very soon, but I don't know where it was. It was on the second floor, but I just couldn't find it. Uh, yeah, let's save the game. Again, more save points. There's plenty, but... Uh, stranger, welcome to the uh, uh, Stronghold Shop. Ooh, what you got for us? Any gong. Increases Earth Attack Power by 15%. Yes, please. Uh... I don't think I need anything else, but thank you, though. I've got to change the upgrades around soon. Oh, hello. So, halt. We are the Stronghold's elite guards. You should not pass. The other guards are made of sand. These ones look like made of, uh, made of metal, which makes sense considering this is the, the Metal King. So, let's just bash. Oh, we're level 23. Okay. This is fine, though. Metal claws. And let's go... Earth kick, and one more earth quick, uh, earth quick, earth kick, finish you off. That's fine, I'm gonna go crystal blast and you will die quick. Whoa, maybe I will die quick. Oh, this is, ooh, this is kinda close. <laughs> oh, okay, we gotta switch out here. Oh no, I'm not gonna get the chance to switch out, am I? Now I've really got to go get healed up. Oh, actually, no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. There we'll go, candle flame. Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go dark in front of just in case. Don't wanna risk it too much. You get fully healed when you level up, right? Oh, oh, oh! So when the, uh, the timer gets level 25, it can then go shiny? Oh, let's go. Oh, and you're evolving. So we gotta reboot you as well. Oh, let's go with Seraph. It should be blue, right? I'm pretty sure in Empyrean it was blue when you got a shiny one. We got an Anu Rot. Let's go. It's so badass. So even we, the elite, were defeated. The king shall be alerted of this transgression. Yeah, you get fully healed. Well, yeah, almost fully healed. Right, right. Hang on, hang on. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, that looks so sick. Oh, that's so sick! Okay, okay. All right, um... We gotta re... Also, I'm... It doesn't matter if you use the potential... Do you, you have to use the potential then reboot? Because I haven't, I haven't been doing that all the time. I feel like it, it doesn't matter, right? I hope not. Because sometimes I haven't been doing it. And I feel like... It might be a bad thing. Like, sometimes I've been doing it. And then sometimes I just reboot right away and I think... Maybe I should have done it. Uh, or you should be re rebooted as well. Uh, put the wisdom up a bit. Let's reboot you. Wait. Oh. Uh, hang on. Reboot. Yes. So I, I don't think it matters, does it? Oh, I hope not. Because. I mean, I don't think it would matter, because then I will just be stronger. But I'm already really strong, so if it does matter, then it really hasn't really made too much difference for me. I just would have probably been even stronger than I am now. But hold, you've fallen for our trap. Not really. Oh, dude, we look so sick. We look so sick. Oh, I just love the look of Seraph, man. I'm so, so happy. <laughs> Oh, Shindo looks so sweet. It reminds me of, um, I forget it was called, the one in Digimon se Season 2. Uh, Armadillomon's, like, is it Ultimate? I'm going to go for a Dark Inferno. Maybe I can finish you off. 
Nice. Ah, oh, so cool. Oh, we need a switch. Ouch, don't kill me. Don't kill me. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, switch into you. And bash. Okay. I'll kick ya. Crystal blast. Oh no, I missed time. I meant to go. That's fine. It's fine. I was meant to get like one more attack off and I thought maybe I can take you out, but everything's okay. Should have gone bash then crystal blast. That's what I meant. Nice. Okie dokie. Get all them points. Now you're evolving again. When like these are max level, with the map times have been rebooted, they should be so good. The trap, though it didn't work, has slowed you down. Now King has finished his preparations. Okay. Oh. So that's towards the King then. Let's go the other way. Because we can fight the other elite guards and then, yeah, get a chest. Halt, this will not let you, uh, we will not let you walk down this path no further. I mean, it's too late. I came back to fight you. <laughs> so, not doing a great job. All right, let's bash, bash, of kick, of kick, crystal blast. Nice. And, oh, and you are weak to a seraph. I feel like I'd probably just take you out like a dark inferno. Uh, we will go candle flame, candle flame, and burn the place down. Oh, and then one more. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. Got plenty left. We switch. Don't do too much. That uppercut then zero. <laughs> oh, unlucky son. And then one more. We just... So good. The toy, the toy palace. When we go there next episode, it better watch out, because we, I think we are now ready for it. And I'm going to be even stronger for next episode. Hidden chip free, oh. Increase potential by 10? Damn, son. Pretty good. Alright, let's get across. And let's go and take you on. The throne. Uh, although... No, I'm looking pretty good. Yeah, let's go for it. Here, King Metal. Oh, hello. So, Terra Jin. A oh, hole. This runt made it all the all the way here. How surprising. Seems my Sandkin weren't enough to stop you. I didn't realize that you were like a bad guy, but uh, oh, ha, this was a good test for them and a sour lesson for me. The Sand Key? So that's your objective. I could give it to you for what it's worth. Oh, Arabella, uh, excuse me, my king. Please snap to your senses. This intruder has uh, besmeared your dominion. Destroy them. Indeed. This runt trampled all over my soldiers. And they will pay. Snack. Sire, as your servant, I will not fail you again. My venom will pierce even the hardest metal. I'll beat you once, I can beat you again. Uh, oh, we just got to pass. That's fine. Oh, no, no, I take that back. You are definitely piercing me. That's chill, 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 chill. Okay. Definitely a lot stronger than he was before. That's for sure. Uh, let's go bash. Nice. Metal claws are super effective. But Kobolev's got this. Gonna spam metal claws after I think. Take a little bit of recoil, but it'll be fine. Oh, that poison though. It's fine. And then you would go earth kick. Oh, I can't get you to get the theory well, haven't you? Right, so what's the best thing to do? Probably switch. Yeah, sure, weak to fire, so we good. 
All right, burn down. Now burn down. Uh, we'll go for an evil flame. Then Dark Inferno should finish you off. <laughs> oh, you think you can beat me? Not a chance. Not a chance. Nice. Words fail me. Step aside, Snack. I'll crush this bog with my own hand. I'm sorry, Runt, but here is where you perish. Alright, got to try this battle again. It went really badly because obviously uh, right now with Seraph got destroyed by this dude because I didn't, didn't get a chance to do anything. So we just got to go for our uh, little shield. Pass up and when it's our turn, we can hopefully go in and things will go a lot better. I hope. Right, so with Seraph. Candle flame. Nice. Another one. Burn down. So far so good. And we've got this dude, which we don't do much to. So we got to switch. And we are going to go for... Bash. Bash. Going to break your shield. Not as much as I was hoping for, but deadly bite. Okay, got the poison. The poison is what does the most damage. But... Yeah, I was expecting free Tama, and I was like, oh, I'm ready for this. And then, he had a fourth, which made things a little bit more difficult. Well, let's hope things go better this time. I'm going to quickly uh, heal up with this 200. I've got a Phoenix down as well. I had to get, I, I used one, our uh, Phoenix Drive, in the battle, and I still lost it. And then uh, I had to get one out of our box ready to use it again, hopefully to win this time. But hopefully it won't come to that. This thing is just pretty tough. I mainly rely on the poison to take this dude out. Ooh, okay, you got a nice crit on me. That's that's fine. Okay, and crystal blast should take out your armor. And I'm gonna go for a earth kick first. That deadly bite. Okay, we're about halfway. Poison really coming in clutch. Nice, keep dodging. <laughs> Alright, Metal Claw. Crystal Blast. Yeah, these boss battles are getting more and more intense, which is good. Love it, but man. Can't wait till our squad is just fully done, you know? That's going to make life a little bit better for us. And go on, next turn, I think you die. Just going to go Earth Block and then pass because the poison should finish you off nice into this big boy Ooh, looks so cool this is the that's the thomas uh garden mount nexus right i think we're gonna bash that does nothing got the poison at least how do i break your armor can't seem to break your armor deadly bite Okay, never mind. The poison does the job though, but it's going back up a little bit. It's actually really tough. I don't know if you're weak to... Seraph, I hope you are. No, you are not. Switch back. <laughs> it's like, nope, out of here. Uh, earth kick. Metal claw. I mean, again, the poison's just going to have to be the thing doing the damage. Poison. Break the shield, we can start doing stuff. The shield just keep going up and up. I cannot do anything. And that's a little bit. Uh, nice. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright, now we can maybe start actually doing some damage. It's not much, but every little is going to help. A kick. Taking a bit of damage, but oh, it's got to do. Go slime spit. Nice, about halfway. It's all good, it's all good. So once you break the armor, not, not so bad. It's the next one, though. The next one's actually really cool for you guys to see if you haven't seen it. 
Half kick, bash, uh, crystal blast. Nice, okay, ready? Oh no, it's still 1 HP, there you go. It's the magic form of our starter. It looks so cool. I mean, I prefer the, um, the strength form, I think. But it still looks so cool. Uh, right. It's deadly bite. Deadly bite. You're going to have to just go for this. And again. That's your armor gone and you're poisoned. Good thing is we've still got our other Tama left. So just got to... Oh, that poison damage was nice. The last one was a lot harder. So he had like a little dude up as well that was helping. It was just... It was not, not great. But I think I've just got to spam this. Yeah, I take some damage, but I also do the damage. Keep going. Oh, did you dodge? Okay, it's fine. 113 poison damage. Let's go. All right. Uh, I don't think with Seraph is super effective here, but... Ouch. Oh, you took some recoil. Maybe I can just get something off. Go on. Uh, evil Flame. Dark Inferno, finish him off. There we go, that was so difficult. Woo! The experience is nice though. <laughs> oh, let's go. That was hard. Done a lot of moves, which is great. So what in the world are you? So what in the world are you? Uh, there is no force greater than the uh, Sun Gear Dominion in this layer, surely. Arabelle, please, had enough. Ah, is that so? I don't care. Relinquish the key. But you will honor our deal. Otherwise, your dominion will be stripped away. Down to the last grain of sand. Oh, okay. Uh, Runt, you're as strong as the iron sand. Come closer, will you? Uh, you do want the key, don't you? I do. Hey, sand dominion obtained the sand key. Right, not sure what this even does, but tell me. Now that you have it, what will you do with it? Ah, you need it in order to stop the virtuals. Oh, is that the three things we need? Maybe like a sand key and then maybe a key from the toy palace and then maybe a key from somewhere else? So you might as well be trying to move a mountain. My sand soldiers, the power to create obedient life forms out of pure will in this system, is the gift that was bestowed upon me by them. But now, I like sand in the desert breeze, it too has started to slip away. Without the Greewolf's support, my program shall become obsolete. So I'll place my bet on you, Runt. Go on, now. Your quest here is ended. Oh, nice. The Solar Stone. Contains condensed solar energy. Okay. Nice, another fragment. Can reboot again. So you better not fail. Go on, run along now. Uh, and get stronger, much stronger. They will be waiting for you. Right. Oh, you got to look at the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's... Look, that's a heart key. So that's definitely... We need to definitely go to the... Um, uh, <laughs> the Toy Palace next. That's a leafy one. So maybe Protocol Forest. Maybe it's something we can do around there now. I don't know. Where else could that be? Uh... I think it's gotta be something I've missed in the protocol forest. And then. Yeah. Also, I wanna check something before we uh, end off here. Now, then, a little bit further into the game, recruit a few more people, potentially? Oh, that's the Ring Garden. Uh, this is not the place I was thinking of. Uh, we need to go. Ooh down here and just go forward again got to find that third statue I don't know where it is at the moment but we can go look for it is there a way to recruit you so you again eh? good course because I could usually help, oh, help with something okay what a robot in the rainlands is asking for its leg oh I reckon that's my bad. I'll give it back. But listen, eh? I'm trying to revive the core of this uh, dusty robot over here. And to do that, I need to run two programs at once. Now that's, uh, there's two of us. I reckon we can do it if we work together. 
Alright, go talk to the blue server in the corner over there. I'm on the main program for my computer. Okay. Sure. Keep pressing the space button when the green light is on, on it to increase the progress. So that's going to be A, I'm pretty sure. Do not press anything during red light or auto's program will desync. Okay. Just don't want to mess this up. Wait for it. Hey, nice. Woo. Oh, good on you, mate. The programs are synced. Now all that's left is... Hold it. What, what is that? Mate, be careful, eh? Oh, you want to fight? Ooh. You look cool. Uh... I just... Oh, you're level 10. <laughs> that was easy. But mate, are you alright? I had no clue that thing would jump out of there. Reckon that little guy was locked up in there? Sort of like an artifact. Data from some ancient time. Listen, if you find any mech cores around the layers, bring them here, will ya? Uh, they most likely contain trap bugs like these. Okay. You still on about Colonel Dump? Reckon I'll come visit, sure. Just don't expect me to stay there. All my stuff's here, you know? Oh, a card? Sure, we can exchange. Let's go! So we've got your card. Uh... Right. So... What now? Uh, let me check. Wonder who I'm missing, like, with some of these. Right, let me go hand this quick quest in. But I don't remember whose legs it was. Uh. Is it this dude? No, it was... It was... Who was it? I don't remember who I spoke to. Was it inside a building? It must have been. Yeah, okay, uh... Not that one. You. No, it's not active. Is it you? No, it's not you. Let me check the quests. So... Oh, I don't know, actually. I honestly can't remember. Doesn't pop, in like as a actual, doesn't pop up as an actual quest, so... Uh, I guess for now, I will, I, I don't know what I want to do next. I think definitely a little bit of grinding would not hurt, but I think I'm going to first save the game. That'd be a smart idea. Figure out where the next area is we should go. Obviously, we know we need to go to the Toy Palace, but there's got to be another area to get another key so we've got to find out where that is but uh, i'll catch you guys next time I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding a little bit of exploring and uh yeah maybe try and figure some stuff out but i'll catch you guys next time thank you so much for watching have a great day peace